Tripoli can look calm, but it's a brittle kind of quiet. In the last 10 days, there's been the worst violence since the fall of Gaddafi in 2011. It started with a shootout between rival militias, and when civilians protested, they were attacked and killed. Armed groups often take their differences to the streets. Some militias started out fighting the Gaddafi regime. Others, often no more than criminal gangs, have appeared since the civil war. All answer only to themselves. National security forces are being created, slowly. The interim government hope they'll help buy time for a new constitution and elections. These men proclaimed their loyalty to the Prime Minister, but the politicians bicker nowhere close to taming Libya. It's been a mess of militias, city-states and tribes since Gaddafi fell. Libya had the most complete of all the Arab revolutions of 2011. When Colonel Gaddafi went, so did all his institutions starting with the security forces. They've had to rebuild from the bottom up. And doing that and getting over the legacy of 40 years of dictatorship has proved to be much harder than anyone here expected. The abandoned Abu Slim prison in Tripoli is a symbol of the Gaddafi regime's brutality and the habit of random violence it left behind. And we're, for any minute, we're waiting to go to be killed. Ali al was a political prisoner for 30 years. He says he's still hopeful, but fears the power of the militias and a thirst for revenge are ruining the future for every Libyan family. We have to fight for tolerance. Even our uh, enemies, or those who have tortured us, don't want that they drink from the same cup in which we drank. We have to build a state, of, a state of rights, a state of rule, so that the new generation will live in a fraternal society. But many Libyans don't feel the same way, and there's a risk that the newly trained government security forces will get caught up in political battles as well as street violence. If the new army ends up as just one weak player in a country full of competing armed groups, Libya's unhappy, unstable, violent present will be its future too. All Libyans feel insecure about the future. In this camp are families whose men fought for Colonel Gaddafi. The men were accused of killing and rape. Halima Amta al jurashis son was arrested by fighters from the rebel stronghold of Misrata, tortured and killed. <laughs> Halima said, I don't want to be here. Libya isn't my country anymore. <laughs> Reconciliation after revolutions and civil wars can take generations. Without security for all, lives will go on being blighted. Libya still can't escape Gaddafi's poisonous legacy. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, Tripoli.